Can you maybe walk us through and whichever one you want to take or you want to take parts and pieces of it, just that history l h has with the mobile equipment? So like I said, 2007, the facility got purchased by L&H. Uh, before that and as it got acquired, uh, this facility did a lot of work on, on mobile equipment historically, uh, whether that's graders, trucks, dozers, loaders, you name it. Um, obviously, that equipment has changed over the years. You know, 2007 was a long time ago. And in the matter of life cycle of equipment, you know, equipment was much smaller back then. It was a lot less complicated. It was a lot uh, um, kind of crude, I guess you could we would call it. It was a lot simpler back then. Um, so this facility was focusing on that at that time. Over the years, it expanded into something more. We started working on different types of equipment. Uh, we dove into um, Laterno loaders was a big kind of um we had a lot of opportunities in those machines, so we focused on those for quite some time. And then, you know, it, it, everything just kind of evolves and in, in to do and things for us to improve and things for us to innovate. Then that's where we, we kind of strive for. On a, in a facility like this, what does that look like? You said the machines are bigger, so I'm guessing that uh, that means that the machines that you've got working in here need to be more capable, more precise, all of that. What does that sort of look like? Again, we'll do a little bit of a walk around and, and show some of those machines. So what does that actually look like in terms of actual machines in this facility doing that work? Yeah, absolutely. But bigger machines means bigger components and more complex components. You know, uh, So we've kind of had to, well, had to. We, we chose to follow suit and, and uh, innovate as the rest of the industry does. So what was 100% manual machining back in 2007 is now being replaced by CNC machines, bigger machines, uh, more accurate machines, more efficient machines. You know, we don't necessarily have a, a much larger crew of tradesmen working here, but the output has, has grown tremendously mm -hmm. just with innovation and, and modernizing the equipment, modernizing the, you know, the facility and, and all that. So it, you definitely have to, you know, keep up with, with what's going on in, in this industry. I want to jump into the sort of the Canadian side as well, but I want to ask a quick question about Laterno. You said that was sort of the big, why, what was the environment? Why did that particular brand of machine um, sort of get so much attention or so much demand in that, at that time? It just was, um, you know, there was a time when we found a niche market that we were going to be good at. And we focused on that market because a lot of customers were calling having issues with their Laterno loader or having, you know, whether it's a reliability issue, whether it's a supply issue, whether it's an availability, um, having another option as far as who they can get uh, some of these components with and, and who to help them, you know, solve problems on these machines. So that was, you know, that was a market that we, you know, fit LNH very well. Mm. And we're moving into different, um, you know, different, um, different markets, different machines. Yeah. But yeah, the Laterno was, yeah. the Laterno products were, were very big for us. You know, a lot of stuff got done here, uh, a lot of innovation. 